Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to load multiple JSON files to SQL Server table by using SSIS in Dataflow task. So why am I insisting on Dataflow task here? Because really my goal is not to load the JSON files to the only SQL Server table. Because if you are using the Dataflow task, if once you are done with the reading part of the JSON file, then there are tons of opportunities for the destination. You can always write the data to your maybe flat file. You can create the Excel files. You can load to the data to the Oracle and all those kind of things. So actual little hard part is reading the file first and then in the destination is not going to be a problem because you are going to use the data flow task. In the previous video what I did I have created the, the same type of scenario where I read the JSON file and directly loaded to the SQL Server table that I use to execute a SQL task. And here, as uh, I'm giving you opportunity to learn uh, how you can uh, load to the multiple destinations, uh, that's why I'm using data flow task. So let's go ahead and take a look. First of all, I have a couple of uh, JSON files uh, that those I would like to load, uh, maybe in just in the table for now. And uh, let's open the one of the JSON file and you have ID, first name, last name, email, gender and IP address. So this is very simple JSON file that I created online and now I'm going to load that. So let's go to the SSMS and this is our query that we will use. So first of all we will declare at the rate JSON. This is a variable we are declaring and then we are saying worker max. Okay. Now in that variable we are reading this entire file and once we imported the file in that variable then we have to parse that by using open JSON table value function. So we are passing that variable here here and then uh, using uh, right here uh, you know the function now if you see that uh, I'm saying select s trigger that means uh, read uh, everything uh, from this uh, uh, JS, uh, variable uh, that uh, is the entire file actually that we have already uploaded from uh, bug query and uh, now it's going to convert them to the columns uh, so that's how the columns are going to look up uh, and if you know remember that we have ID first name last name email gender and IP address uh, in my JSON file so it's the same names of what I had in the file and uh, I have defined the data type okay now this looks really good uh, and uh, it's easy and simple uh, we are gonna go ahead and uh, run the query and it is gonna uh, show us uh, those all records from one of the file uh, that's called the mock data.json file I'm very impressed actually with uh, this uh, simple uh, uh, script uh, we are able to uh, you know kind of get the tableau data from the JSON so it's exciting but uh, the problem is uh, how we would load multiple files uh, uh, for JSON to the table or maybe to the different destination that's where the problem comes in in my case what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just create the table and would like to load these data to the table and also I would like to add a column where it says file name and I would like to know from the from which source this data is loaded so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create the table this uh, table is created and now we are going to go to the Visual Studio and uh, try to load the data from multiple JSON files to the table uh, in Dataflow task. Let's uh, open Visual Studio. Here Visual Studio is there. I'm going to go create new SSIS package and uh, right there. So let's uh, call the whatever you want to call it. doesn't matter. I'm going to call this PKG JSON. Okay. Now, first of all, as there are multiple files in the folder, we have to read them. So we are going to use for each loop to loop through those list of the files. Here is my for each loop is ready. I'm going to make it a little bigger so you can see. Double click here. Now go to collection for each loop item enumerator file enumerator. That's what we are going to use right here. So it's going to be a list of the files that we need to get from the folder from which folder that's the way that's the folder so I'm gonna browse and navigate to the folder where my JSON files are sitting they are sitting in the input folder so hit uh, that path and then here you can make a selection there could be mistakes uh, uh, that people can make and just put some uh, their txt file or uh, excel file and all that in that folder you don't want your SSIS package to fail so asterisk dot json just read the json files okay fully qualified so read the, the file name with the folder path that's what i want because i need to use in my query right here so that's where i'm going to use okay so we have that all set and next part is go to variable mapping in the variable mapping you're going to select a new variable and here we are going to leave this we call this file path okay file path and uh, value can be in my file path or whatever because uh, this is gonna be 
uh, overwritten uh, at the time of when we are going to run the SSIS package. Okay, we are all good here. One more thing I would like to do, I would like to create a variable that I will use in the uh, write in the expressions and uh, then use inside the data flow. Let's go click uh, right here. Uh, this is a variable right there. So let's call my query. Okay, I'm going to call this query. Okay, and uh, go to the type and this is going to be string. Uh, and now we have to write the expression. In uh, this expression, uh, click right here, the dots, uh, and then it's going to open this uh, window now this is expression window there there we need to write expression you're going to put double quotes first and then you're going to bring the query i showed you right here this is a query so we have to bring this entire query here and then we are going to hit control v and then at the end we are going to put double quotes again don't worry i'm going to show you in an uh, ssms how this looks like because it's very small tiny window i cannot make it bigger but I'm, i will show you after writing it so see right there where you have single quotes around the file what we are going to do we are going to delete that part so we, are, we will delete put a double quotes plus sign plus sign double quotes and uh, here we will replace with our file path variable okay now we are going to go and uh, hit uh, evaluate expression it looks good so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy this uh, entire thing and show you how exactly it look so let me go to the ssms open a new query and uh, paste it there so now you can see that i put double quotes first then it was the same query till here and then i removed that file what was that and replace with the double quotes plus sign and my variable name here so it will get me the file name and then you have plus sign double quotes here and then single quote because it's going to be string and that's where you would like to get that okay now the rest of the everything it looks as it is not a big deal so one more thing I want to do, I want to actually take this file path. Why? Because I need to provide this. Uh, uh, let me go to the, where is my, yeah, right here. Okay. Hit OK. And uh, instead of uh, uh, in the file path, I have provided this um, file path, uh, just temporary value. I'm going to put actual value for one file. Because once it's evaluated in the data flow, it will get the list of the column and I want this uh, list of the columns uh, uh, coming from this uh, file. So I'm going to put actual file, one of any file. If you have multiple file, you can take any file and put it here. Okay, now what we need here, we need a data flow. Let's go to the data flow right here. Bring the data flow and inside the data flow, we are going to use the uh, LADB source. Uh, let me see OLEDB source here, right here. So bring it here. And now in the OLEDB source, uh, we are going to read uh, from, it uh, doesn't really matter at this point uh, because, uh, uh, well, yeah, let's make a connection to the same database uh, or where we need to load. Uh, so hit the new and uh, I already have created the connection. Uh, so you can use that one. It doesn't really matter. It's OLEDB connection. You can, you know how to create it. Just uh, provide a server name and uh, the database into it will create. Uh, now in the table or view, you are going to select uh, SQL command from variable. Yes. So which variable? My query variable. Remember that we have generated that. And now it has actual value of the file right here. So what it's going to do when we'll preview it, uh, it's going to get actual data. So it will, it, it will be helpful to list these columns. So you can see that it has ID, first name, last name, email, gender, and all that. It looks good. Now, next part, I'm going to bring a drive column here. It's been a while I did not create SSIS packages, so don't worry if I may mess up with some expressions. Uh, and uh, here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use create a file name. Remember that one of the variable that has file name. So uh, where is the variable right here? Yeah, so file path. So it's right here. So in this case, if you guys notice that I am... Uh, I'm getting the entire file path. So I'm getting the folder path and then file name as well. So you guys are much more expert than me and you know how to do the substring functions. And if you wanna go ahead and use the string functions here and use the substring and all those kind of find strings, uh, use it and find the underscore where the last underscore happen. And then, you know, you can just use from there. So I have a lot of uh, videos how to find uh, those kind of things, you know. Uh, 
uh, but I'm, I'm not gonna waste time here and uh, here what I would like to do I would like to change the data I DTWSTR means and worker and uh, if you remember that my file path is not a N worker, so it is a worker. Okay, so I'm gonna change that data type because otherwise it's gonna fail. So typecast, and in the typecast, I'm gonna go right here. This guy, bring it right here, and uh, uh, I'm gonna go maybe. Okay, thousand is fine for me because it's not thousand anyways. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna just match with my uh, data type inside the table. Twelve fifty two. That's a code, you know, and uh, that's uh, C. It converted to the DT, SDR, and thousand and file name. Hit OK. And now finally we can bring our destination. So I'm going to OLEDB destination right here. Where did my destination go? OLEDB destination right here. OK. And double click here. And now what you have here, you are going to go to the mapping. Uh, what's happening here? Select a table or a view destination yeah so select the table and uh, what was what was the name of the table SSIS I believe that's what our table name was yeah SSIS JSON so select that table and now go to the mapping and here mapping is all done automatically so just hover over mouse uh, here DTI4 DTI4 good and then you have uh, DTSTR and that, that looks good you know everything matches itself but uh, why I did all the effort, uh, uh, I could have uh, just used execute SQL test like previous video and loaded because my destination can change. So it, it doesn't have to be like a always SQL server. Maybe I want to load to the Oracle or maybe create a CSV file and all those kind of things. Uh, so in this case, uh, that will be very helpful uh, to read the data in the data flow and uh, perform all those uh, different tasks. Maybe I want to use a slowly changing dimension, you know. Uh, maybe I want to use a a multicast and load to the multiple so uh, destinations so there could be a lot of scenario calculations and all that i need to do so i can read then do perform all the transformations and then finally load to the destination whatever the destination i want now this looks good and i'm going to go ahead and right click here and say execute package now i'm uh, very excited actually yeah, see, it uh, uh, went too quickly and it loaded uh, two files. Let's uh, stop this package and now we go to the SSMS uh, and here uh, we have our table. So let's uh, select asterisk from dbo.table and it should load it uh, two files. So there should be 2000 records because each file has 1000 records. And if you guys notice right here, that's our file name. Okay, so that's our first file name. It says, and if I want to just check, like, okay, I can do file name, you know, uh, file name, comma, count, and group by as row CNT, and then we can group by just to see our how many records came from each file. So, right there. Okay, so see, right there. That's uh, my JSON file, and then another one is my uh, mock data file, and each one has a thousand records and loaded successfully. So that's awesome, and I hope uh, you guys learn this and implement, and it will help you uh, on the daily basis. Uh, I thank you for watching my videos, and go ahead and subscribe my channel. And uh, we are going to target for hundred thousand subscribers, hopefully one day, because uh, I have more than twenty million. Uh, uh, views and my my subscribers are 63,000 you know uh, so that's uh, like a kind of shame when uh, people watch a lot of videos and don't subscribe it and there are people who have just uh, even uh, 10 million views and uh, they have uh, half a million of subscribers so if you guys like my effort I'm not saying uh, like uh, go ahead and subscribe for sure if you like the effort yes do it so I will see you guys in the next video